Hi friends, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. The curriculum and credit framework for undergraduate programs released by the UGC in December 2022 suggests massive changes for the undergraduate programs. It suggests a four-year program, the inclusion of value-added courses, summer internships, research projects, and other such things. Four-year UG program will be introduced in institutions across the country from July this year. Let us see NEP 2023 UG curriculum framework explained in this video. The curriculum framework suggests the first year as introductory courses, the second year as intermediate courses, the third year as higher level and the fourth year as the advanced level. Students have the option to exit the first year with a UG certificate, the second year with a UG diploma, the third year with a UG degree and the fourth year with a UG degree with honors or research. The major course is the discipline or subject of main focus and the degree will be awarded in that discipline. Minor is a subject different from the major course. So for example, if a student is pursuing an economics major, he can have a minor in statistics. In multidisciplinary courses, students will have the option to choose courses from disciplinary or interdisciplinary minors. In ability enhancement courses, students are required to achieve competency in a modern Indian language and in the English language. The skill enhancement courses are aimed at imparting practical skills, hands-on training, etc. In the value-added courses, the higher education institutions may introduce other innovative value-added courses relevant to the discipline or common to all UG programs. All students will also undergo internships or apprenticeships in a firm, industry or organization. This internship may be of 8 weeks duration. Students choosing a 4-year bachelor's degree honors with research are required to take up research projects under the guidance of a faculty member. For the major course, the minimum credit is 80. The minor, the minimum credit is 32. For multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary courses, it's 9 credits. For AEC, it's 8 credits. For skill enhancement courses, it's 9 credits. For value added courses, it's 6 to 8 credits. For summer internships, it's 2 to 4 credits and for research project it's 12 credits. This is the course structure. In the first year, which consists of the first and the second semester, students have to take up one major course, one minor course, one interdisciplinary course, one ability enhancement course, one skill enhancement course and one compulsory value added course. In the second year, in the third semester, students have to take up two major, one minor, three IDC, one AEC and one SEC. While the fourth semester students have to take four major, one minor, one AEC and there's no SEC. In the third year, students have to take up four major courses, two minor courses and there's a summer internship at the end of the sixth semester for eight weeks. In the fourth year, in the seventh sem, there are four major courses and one project of four credits. While in the eighth sem, there is three major courses and one project of eight credits. Each course may have a lecture component or a lecture and tutorial component or a lecture and practicum component or a lecture, tutorial and practicum component or only practical component. Each one hour lecture is counted as one credit. In a semester of 15 weeks duration, a three credit lecture course is equivalent to 45 hours of teaching. These activities or courses constitute the program, lecture courses, tutorial courses, 
प्रैक्टिकम और लेबोरेटरी वर्क सेमिनार इंटर्नशिप स्टूडियो एक्टिविटीज फील्ड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट एंड कम्युनिटी एंगेजमेंट एंड सर्विस द मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी कोर्सेस आर ऑफ नाइन मिनिमम क्रेडिट ऑल अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू अंडर गो थ्री इंट्रोडक्टरी लेवल कोर्सेस स्टूडेंट आर नॉट अलाउड टू चूज और रिपीट कोर्सेस ऑलरेडी अंडर गॉन एट द हायर सेकेंडरी लेवल देर आर फाइव डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स टू चूज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट इज नेचुरल एंड फिजिकल साइंसेस द सेकेंड इज मैथमेटिक्स स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन द थर्ड इज लाइब्रेरी इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड मीडिया साइंसेस द फोर्थ इज कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट Fifth, humanities and social sciences. Ability enhancement courses of eight credits. Students are required to achieve competency in a modern Indian language and in the English language with special emphasis on language and communication skills. The courses aim at enabling the students to acquire and demonstrate the core linguistic skills, including critical reading and expository and academic writing skills. The skill enhancement courses are of minimum 9 credits. These courses are aimed at imparting practical skills, hands-on training, soft skills etc to enhance the employability of students. The institution may design courses as per the students' needs and available institutional resources. A student will have to opt for 3 SECs, one to be taken in each of the first 3 semesters. The value added courses are of 6 to 8 credits. The UGC suggests these four major heads: Understanding India, Environmental Science Education, Digital and Technological Solutions, Health and Wellness, Yoga Education, Sports and Fitness. The HEIs may introduce other innovative value added courses relevant to the discipline or common to all UG programs. There is a compulsory summer internship of 2 to 4 credits. All students will undergo internships or apprenticeships in a firm, industry or organization or training in labs with faculty and researchers in their own or other HEIs research institutions during the summer term. Students will be provided with opportunities for internships with local industry, business organizations, health and allied areas and even local governments. the research project students choosing a four year bachelor's degree honors with research are required to take up research projects under the guidance of a faculty member the students are expected to complete the research project in the 8th semester the research outcomes of their project may be published in peer reviewed journals or may be presented in conferences seminars or may be patented Here is an example of minor courses. In universities in Calcutta for example a student will have to take eight minor courses from the same broad discipline as the major excluding the major subject. Students have to study four minor courses in the first two years that means one in each semester and four minor courses in the third year two in each semester. Two courses have to be taken from one subject in the first and second semesters which is the M1 and two courses from the other subject in the third and fourth semester for any minor subject the first two minor courses irrespective of whether it is taught in first or second year will be identical with the first two courses of the corresponding major subject for example an economics major with stats minor the first two minor courses in stats will be the same which is taught to the stats major students a minor course opted for in the fifth and sixth semester will have to be selected from among the major courses offered in the 3rd and 4th semester level which is the level 
interdisciplinary courses here in institutions in Kolkata. A student will have to opt for three IDCs, one in each of the first three semesters, from a pool of courses offered by the different disciplines. These courses will be different from the major and minor disciplines, but must necessarily belong to the same broad discipline. Each subject in the university will contribute one IDC to the pool. The IDC will have three credits each. The skill enhancement courses here in West Bengal, a student will have to opt for three SECs, one to be taken in each of the first three semesters. Of these three courses, one SEC which is to be taken in the second semester will be specified centrally by the university. The students will have to study two other SECs corresponding to their major subjects. The SECs will be of four credits each. The SEC will be decided by the individual board of studies but it cannot be a tutorial only course. The compulsory value added courses here. Students will have to opt for four CVAC courses. That means two in each of the first and second semesters. There will be a compulsory CVAC which is the ENVS and an optional CVAC. In each of the two semesters, a student will have to study one two credits course in ENVS and another two credits course in the optional CVAC. There will be a pool of optional CVAC from the choices suggested earlier. In the first year, student of the first two semesters will study one major course of four credits, one minor course which is M1 of four credits, one IDC of three credits, one AEC of two credits, one SEC of four credits and two CVACs of two credits each. This is a total of 21 credits. So there will be 21 one hour classes per week per semester. The examination will be of 25 marks per credit. So there will be total of 525 marks each of the first year. In the third semester, students will study two major courses of four credits each, one minor course M2 of four credits, one IDC of three credits, one ability enhancement course of two credits, one skill enhancement course of four credits, and that's a total of 21 credits. So 21 one hour classes per week for the third semester students, examination for 25 marks per credit, and that means total of 525 marks for the third semester. Students of the fourth semester will study four major courses of four credits each, one minor course M2 of four credits, one AEC of two credits, which is a total of 22 credits. So 22 one hour classes per week. The examination will be for 550 marks for the fourth semester. Students of the 5th semester will study 4 major courses of 4 credits each and 2 minor courses M1 and M2 of 4 credits each. So there will be total of 24 credits. That makes 24 one hour classes per week for the 5th semester. The examination will be for a total of 600 marks at 25 marks per credit. Students of the 6th semester will study 3 major courses of 4 credits each, 2 minor course M1 and M2 of 4 credits each, 1 summer internship of 8 weeks that's for 3 credits that makes a total of 23 credits. The examination will be for a total of 575 marks. Students of the 7th semester will study 4 major courses of 4 credits each and one dissertation or research work of 4 credits that makes a total of 20 credits which is a total of 500 marks. Candidates who will not pursue dissertation or research work will have to study one additional major paper of 4 credits. Students of the 8th semester will study 3 major courses of 4 credits each, one dissertation or research work of 8 credits, that makes a total of 20 credits, total marks 500. Candidates who don't pursue dissertation or research work will have to study additional two major papers of four credits each. The graduate attributes include capabilities that help broaden the current 
knowledge base and skills gain and apply new knowledge and skills undertake future studies independently perform well in a chosen career and play a constructive role as a responsible citizen in society graduate attributes are fostered through meaningful learning experiences in this video thanks for staying along friends as always it was a delight having you here i'll be back with another explainer video very soon till then have a great time